Next up is Lern OS. Good morning, Congress. My name is uh, Simon. I'm located at the Center Centrum Podcasting Assembly, and I want to make a short pitch for systematic lifelong learning. Uh, LearnOS is a term, it's a verb, it's coming from Esperanto, the artificial language, and it's the future tense of learning. So it means we will learn or I will learn. And I will talk a little bit about uh, how I think how we can hack our own lifelong learning system. Uh, the problem that I see is that uh, in more and more knowledge domains, the half-life of knowledge gets shorter and shorter. It's not so much the fact if we talk about knowledge that you acquire at school, about history, things like that. Uh, but if we think about especially technology and IT knowledge, the half-life gets shorter and shorter. This means that we have to learn on an ongoing basis and also in a systematic way. Second problem that I see is that our education systems are not prepared at all for uh, teaching us these lifelong learning mechanisms. When you think about school, uh, we send our children to school. It's a very formal approach with a fixed curriculum and fixed teaching methods. We don't really teach them how to learn in a self-organized way. Uh, I think the same counts for the higher education. In terms of the bachelor and master processes, we apply more and more methods that we have in elementary schools, also in higher education. And I think it gets even worse if we have a look at the working environments, uh, where a lot of people think that when you start working, uh, learning ends, because learning was in school, and now you have to work. And every day that we spend on uh, learning and trying out new things, it's a waste of money and time. So the idea of this learner's, uh, learning hack, so to say, is uh, to put four ingredients together, which are well-known methods in, in the business domain, I think, and also in the IT domain, uh, which consists out of four methods. One is Scrum, uh, the Agile project management approach. So one idea is to uh, have so-called learner's or learning sprints of 13 weeks uh, to give yourself a cadence for your learning process. There's Think of it like uh, having school years or half years in university or in school, uh, where uh, the education system or a teacher provides you with material and learning goals and a curriculum. Uh, if this formal education ends, then you have to do that on your own. So uh, if you do uh, four sprints a year, uh, with a classical planning, like planning of the goals, a learning process, and a retro at the end, you would do four learning sprints a year, for example. Of course, you can adapt it to your needs. Uh, in terms of goals, uh, we try to use uh, a method called OKR. It was developed by, uh, or at Intel in the 80s, uh, already made famous at the end of the 90s uh, at Google. So it's sort of the strategic um, management system at Google, where you try to uh, manage the goals over the levels of uh, the whole corporation, the individual teams, and the individuals. Uh, and you just set a moonshot objective, a very ambitious goal for one sprint, and have, uh, in, in, uh, have three so-called re key results that you can measure what you have at the end of the sprints. So for example, here at the Congress, we try to develop a uh, guide how you, where you can learn how to podcast and use podcasting as a knowledge sharing tool uh, over one sprint. To get the learning process managed, we use a very old self-organization method called uh, Getting Things Done by David Allen, uh, which kind of replaces the job of the teacher. Uh, you organize, organize your learning tasks on your own, put your tasks in a, in a Kanban board. We also have uh, are working on pre-prepared uh, pre boards uh, that can use for the learning process uh, to uh, manage the to-dos. And of course, uh, if we did something, we should share what we learned and what we did. Uh, and then we use an approach called working out loud, uh, defined as making your work observable. A lot of you, I think, do that by putting stuff on uh, GitHub or publishing presentations like we do here, uh, but also narrating your work. Talk about your work, talk about lessons learned, what worked, what didn't work. Uh, that's where podcasts come in, for example, where you can talk about what, what worked and what did not. Uh, I put in the presentation uh, more food for thought for all of the four approaches. There are a lot of uh, sources, uh, like the YouTube video by Rick Clow from Google Ventures, for example, uh, or the podcast with David Allen talking about getting things done. Uh, and the, the idea in the end is that you learn lifelong from now onwards uh, until the end uh, of your life, so to say. Uh, 
Blenders is, is a project that lasts for six years. We are in the middle of it, so uh, there are three years to go. If you want to, there are some addresses where you can join the community, also a Twitter account. No matter if you learn with Blenders or take another approach, I would like to motivate you to keep calm and learn on. Hi. Thanks. Thank you.